Hello guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where a little time has passed since I last uh, recorded. You know, been busy, been very busy in fact, but uh, you know, I'm squeezing in a little set here. Um, and I did a little, little something off camera. Uh, basically that Strike Abyssal mission, I basically just went to see what it actually was, and well, I just, you know, went over to the Shrike Abyssal place. Uh, went into uh, this section of it that I forgot the name of. And it was basically on one of those planets where you basically just had to scan it. That, that was it. So it was real, real side questy. <laughs> I mean, you just fly over there, scan it, and then you leave. So let's go turn that in. Won't be this diplomat. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D-24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Oh, well, that's awfully kind. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. That's cool. So I'm not sure how exactly that's going to help, but uh, it was very side questy, so I figured we just uh, turn that in. Uh, I'm not exactly. Jundam Bao is, you know, set to be here. So I, uh, I'm not sure why. There was something important I had to do. Oh. Are you looking for someone, ma'am? Oh, we know I she is. Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. Thank you. Wonderful, ma'am. Awkward. Yeah, okay, that, that that is enough of that. Yep. Alright, let's uh, leave and go on to... Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Yes, let's go straight to the Normandy. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D. And then let's, you know, wait, Miranda? She, yeah. Over here. Hi. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Hmm. I have to say it's a lot better to see Miranda than it was to see Ashley. I'm not... I'm not... I know. Miranda looks good. Ashley I'm not entirely sold on. Don't know why the hell I'm bringing that up now, but... Yeah. Um... Both of these are right. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. 
It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Yeah, how about service? Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Well, if you don't want to help, then yeah, I should go. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Hmm. Um, yeah, that way. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty good uh, little meetup. That's good to know. Yes, return to Normandy. Anything new? Specialist? I forget her name now. I feel like a jackass. Let's leave orbit. Go to the mass relay. And then let's go to the main quest line. Probably should have read what it actually was, but That's eternal eternal logic right there. Yeah, let's just go do this thing, which I completely forgot about. That fuel depot should help. Oh, apparently it's full again. Guess that happens after a uh, citadel. But there's something in the asteroid uh, ring. Come on, there's got to be something. Nothing? This is all 100% identified? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we get... No, not directly, but uh, let's see. Sir Cash. Primarch Victus has called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Salarian ship and used the Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. The summit? Already? Thought there would be more people there, but okay. Should be interesting then. Uh, I've, I've been told that this upcoming part is going to be absolutely mind-blowingly good. So, I'm very curious. <laughs> Incredibly curious. Uh, the di diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians and Krogans, uh, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for the diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for negotiations. No, it does not. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And 
hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Oh dear. Really? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Huh. Well, um, you know, I think it would help for now. Just, just like you needed it then. I think we can use a whole bunch of Krogan to fight off Reapers in any way. Even though, you know, what's, what's a Krogan going to do against this giant ship? But, you know. Um... The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. That is dirty. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? You need fucking allies. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander, the consequences of this will be felt. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. You're the bully? <laughs> You're the fucking bully. Come on. <laughs> okay, right. So, let's take Javik and... I don't know. Garrus? Garrus is alright. Still want to bring Edie at some point, but... 